Hello traders, this is your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I'm so glad you could be here with me. Guys, today I want to talk to you about rules that will help you to be successful in the market. And the reason I'm bringing you these rules is because I was on the internet looking for ways to enhance my own trading, ways to help me to stay on top of my game and to tweak what I already have. And the amount of junk that's out there is just mind boggling. And the thing that's amazing is that people want you to pay for this crap. So I want to say this in this introduction. If you are listening to trading advice, get it from real traders. And also, if you are going to part with your hard earned cash, make sure it's with a system from a trader that has a proven success record. Don't give all of these charlatans your hard earned money. Now, the number one trait you want to possess as a trader is discipline. That is the number one most important trait I think that's necessary for a trader to be successful. And somewhere ranking up there is faith in yourself and confidence and faith in your ability. Even if you are not the best trader today, it doesn't mean that things are going to stay like that. As human beings, we have the capacity to expand and to improve. So just because you're a little shaky today doesn't mean that you're going to stay that way. And so you continue to build towards something greater. Even in the word impossible, you have I'm possible. So keep that in mind and keep your words and your thoughts aligned with the vision that you have for yourself and where you want to go in the market. So let's get into some of these rules. Number one, you cannot be in the market all day because you only get a limited amount of good trades a day. Once you finish a good trades, you're going to go into range bound, constricted, choppy, or just sideways trading because the market is resting. When the market is resting, you rest with it. Number two, you have to be willing to wait for a proper trade setup. That's one of the hardest things that I have to do, guys, is to wait. But the profit makes it worth it. Don't hunt good trades. Let good trades come to you. You want that trade that's begging you to come in and partake of the sweet profits. That's the trade that you're looking for. Number three, enter when your rules say to enter. And sometimes this takes confidence, but enter when your rules say to enter. Number four, cut bad trades quickly. Now this is a thing. Most traders don't do this. And this is where we get into a lot of trouble because we're holding bad trades too long. When the market shows you that you no longer have the advantage, cut that trade. And don't beg God to do for you what you have the power to do for yourself. If you are in the market telling yourself, I to come back, you're on the wrong side of the trade. If you're yelling at your husband, your wife, your kids, the dog, chances are you're on the wrong side of the trade. If you're stressed and things just keep getting worse, chances are that's a trade that you should have cut long before now. So cut bad trades quickly. Save yourself the headache. Number five, ride good trades until your rules say cut. And that's as important as number four, if not more important. Because you don't get these rides as often as you get the bad trades. Guys, you're going to get the opportunity to enter bad trades more often. So that's why it's so very important to ride your good trades until your rules show that you no longer have the advantage. And that's a totally separate discipline in itself, but it is absolutely necessary. Number six, never let them trap you. Never let them trap you because if they trap you, they are going for the kill. Make no mistake about it. Discipline is the holy grail in the market. We use all of these things in the market to help give us the advantage. And these things are great and they're very important. 
But if you are looking for the holy grail in the market, the holy grail in the market is discipline. Discipline is the holy grail in the market. Number seven, successful traders are willing to make tough choices that non-successful traders are not. In short, successful traders are willing to do what unsuccessful traders are not. Successful traders are willing to make the tough choices that go against their emotions, against their egos, against logic sometimes. This is the thing. There is no perfect forex system. What you're looking for is to be consistent with the system that puts the odds in your favor most of the time. And if you sit up for a series of hours and you enter a trade and that trade goes against you, you'd better be willing to cut that trade. I don't care what happened yesterday. And these are the things that separate the successful traders from the non-successful traders. The non-successful traders cut bad trades quickly. They trade a good set of rules consistently. And there are many ways to be successful in the market. There are many ways to be successful in the market. But just as many ways as there are to be successful in the market, you'll have two or three ways to not be successful. And the way to not be successful is to ignore these rules and not to trade with discipline because discipline is the holy grail in the market. Guys, I just want to remind you that you can absolutely do this. You can be successful at Forex. Have a terrific pip tr field trading week. Sorry, pip field trading week. Thanks.